Welcome again and in this video I have a past paper for certificate in carpentry and engineering, certificate in machinery, craft certificate in plumbing and uh, craft certificate in uh, load construction and I want us to go through a few questions in trigonometry. We are going to avoid geometry because the main aim uh, of this video is trigonometry. So the question is 7b we are told prove the following trigonometric identities Norman 1 tan x plus cot x is equal to sec x cosec X. You can also donate the channel so that you can help the channel uh, make more videos for you. And remember what we said previously that the next is equal to sine x over cosine of x and cot x is equal to cos x over sine x. So this is pretty simple. Uh, we will we now say using the left hand side. Or taking the left hand side, this will be sin x or over cos x plus cos x over sin x. We want to see whether they will be equal to the right hand side. So now becomes if you get the Rossian, it will be sin x, or we can start with the cosine of x, or whichever you want, cos x, sin x. If you take this, divide by this, it will be sin x times the other sin x on the numerator plus take this divided by this it will be cosine of x but there is another coincidence of x here so it will be cos x times cos x this is a which will give us a squared x plus cos squared x all over cos x sin x but we know sin x plus cos x is 1 so this will be 1 over cos x sin x from which uh, we know 1 over cos x is sec x and 1 over sin x is cos x so we have managed to make the left hand side similar to the right hand side and therefore, we have proved that. Let us do question 8. A. We are told. Roman 1. Express. Express. 4 cos theta. Minus 3 sin theta. In the form. In the form R cos with bracket, this must be theta plus alpha, where, where R is greater than zero, not greater than theta, and the angle alpha lies between zero and 90 degrees. So I want us to solve that uh, so that we can uh, try different questions in trigonometry uh, so that it can be easier for us to approach an exam. But remember, if you need any assistance, you can always send me an email through the email shown on the screen. I can help you go through uh, various topics, especially if you are out there with the refer. You also told Loma 2 is hence solve hence solve the equation four cos theta minus three sine theta is equal to one for values of 
the values of theta between uh, 0 degrees and 360 degrees. So let us go through this solution. We are going to say we have R cos into bracket theta plus alpha of which you can expand to R into bracket using the addition formula this will be cos theta cos alpha if here it's positive here it will be negative we say it's negative here it will be positive minus sin theta sin alpha I hope that's within the screen which now becomes r cos theta cos alpha minus sin r sin theta sin alpha but you are told you express this expression in this form which means since for cos theta minus re sin theta is equal to r cos in bracket theta plus mm, alpha we can also say I've realized I've skipped one question, but I'll go through it later. I'll show you that I'm done with this. Now, so we can equate this. Now we can equate this with this. Since R cos theta is also equal to this, we can equate this with this. So we can now say 4 cos theta minus. 3 sin theta is equal to r cos theta cos alpha minus r sin theta sin alpha. Uh, let us equate this term with cos theta with this term with cos theta. The term is sin theta here, we put it with the term with sin theta there. So we have 4 cos theta is equal to r cos theta cos alpha if theta can, cos theta cancels out we will have r cos alpha is equal to 4 and also negative 3 sin theta is equal to negative r sin theta sin alpha negative sin theta cancels out here with negative sin theta we will have r sin alpha is equal to 3. Let us call this one equation 1 and this equation 2. Squaring equation 3, 2 and 1. Squaring. And then adding. Equation 1, add 2. We we'll have, if you square both sides here, we we'll have r squared cos squared alpha is equal to 16. r squared sine squared alpha is equal to 9. Let us add both sides. r squared cos squared alpha plus r squared sin squared alpha is equal to 25 from which we have r squared into bracket cos squared alpha plus sin squared alpha is equal to 25 but we know cos squared alpha plus sin squared alpha will be equal to 1 so r squared times 1 that is r squared is equal to 25 or r is equal to 5. Mm. Let me not remove the question. 
I have a limited working space, but you, what you said the way it is. Uh, we need the question. Uh, this part of the question is still needed, so we will not remove it from the Now, if we add, not add, dividing, dividing, to equation 2 by what we have equation 2 is r sin alpha which is equal to 3 equation 1 is r cos alpha is equal to divide both sides for this is r and r will cancel out sin alpha over cos alpha is tan alpha is equal to 3 over 4 so alpha is tan inverse 3 over 4. Let us work that. Shift tan inverse 3 over 4 is equal to that is 36. Alpha is equal to 36.86. You can say it's 7 if you round off. It's 7 degrees. We, we, we are told only for angles for angle of alpha to lie between 0 degrees and 90 degrees. We know actual tan is positive in the first quadrant, that quadrant, first and that quadrant. But we only require to get values of alpha only within the first quadrant. That's why we are giving only that answer. Our R cos with bracket theta plus alpha is R cosine of theta plus 36.87 degrees. Now we can proceed with the second part of the equation. Hence of the equation, this is equal to 1 between 0 and 360 degrees. So what you are going to do, we will remove this, create more space. Let us now proceed with the rest of the question. Remember, if you have any question, you can always leave it on the uh, channel comment. And also remember to like the video. So we will now solve the second part of the question, which is uh, 4 cosine of theta minus 3 sine theta is equal to 1. But we know for cos theta minus 3 sin theta is equal to r cosine of theta plus alpha, but what is alpha? That is 6.87 degrees. So instead of equating 1 with this, we can equate 1 with this. We can now say r cosine of theta plus 36.87 degrees is equal to 1. We know r. What is the value of r? I guess we found r is 5. So instead of using r of here, instead of using r here, let us work with 5 because we are going to obtain the value of r. So here you have 5. Divide through by 5 cosine of theta plus 36.87 degrees is equal to 0 0.1 over 5 is 0 0.2. Now apply cos inverse on both sides. You have cos inverse cosine of theta plus 36.87 degrees is equal to cos inverse. 0.2 cos inverse cancels out cosine function so we have that data that's 36.87 degrees is equal to what is cosine of 0.2 or cos inverse 0 0.2 0 0.2 is 78.46 degrees 78.46 degrees we know for cosine 
positive in first add fourth quadrant so this is the, the first argument in the first quadrant will be theta is equal to 78.46 degrees minus 36.87 degrees which is a photo one point five nine degrees then we also know cosine is positive in the fourth quadrant so we'll say theta plus 36.87 degrees is equal to you see this angle you got uh, in the first the first time you entered the value in the calculator which is a uh, 78.46 degrees you can see 360 degrees minus answer is equal to 281.54 degrees 281.54 degrees so that you can take that 6.87 degrees on the other side of the equation this will be um, 281.54 degrees minus 36.87 degrees. So we subtract that minus answer minus 36.87 degrees, which will be the other value of theta is 244.6. Seven degrees. That's why you are so told to solve for values of beta between zero and three hundred and sixty degrees. That's why you are expected to get all the angles between zero and three hundred and sixty degrees. Now we will solve um, the other question that I skipped. You can quickly go through it. I didn't want to leave that question not solved. And remember to support uh, the channel with your donations so that we can be able to make more videos. Uh, creating videos really takes a lot of time. Uh, it's something I would like to reserve more time for. We solve question 7b, we didn't solve question 7b Roman 1, we didn't solve 7b Roman 2. Uh, so from Roman 2, we are told, it's also proving identities. We are told that sin x cos x tan x we show that it is equal to 1 minus cos squared x how do we go about it? it doesn't seem to be difficult it seems to be quite simple uh, sin x cos x what is sin x? no what is tan x? sin x cos x you can cancel that and that so that you have sine squared x what is sine squared x but you know sine squared x plus cos squared x is equal to 1 so sine squared x is equal to 1 minus cos squared x so we can send our sine x sine squared x is equal to 1 minus cos squared x is cos squared x and you can see that two sides have balanced for proving identity is always making sure uh, that two sides have balanced so let us meet in the next video uh, where we'll be uh, continuing with trigonometry either from my mechanical or electrical engineering past paper